Hey, what's up guys? So today I thought I'll just do a talky talk video and share with you what I think are the 10 misconceptions that people have about artists. Well, this is more like maybe the 10 misconceptions I had about artists before I became an artist, that's one. And also these I consider misconception because they're actually not true about me. They could be true about you and you might not identify or relate to any of these. You might do some, so that's just a little disclaimer here. These are just my 10 misconceptions that I feel people have about artists that I have had before. So let's get right into it. The first misconception that I feel that people have about artists is that most artists loved art when they were a child, right? So they were the child that draws in class, that doodles, that loves sketching, and they were just very artistic as children. I must say that is really not me at all. I discovered painting just less than three years ago. And before that, as a child, I really wasn't drawn to painting or colors or art classes. I was actually more uh, into music. I was more into um, writing, language, poetry, literature. That was my creative outlet as a child and all throughout being a teenager. And you know, I've written blogs. I've tried writing novels in my teens. I loved reading. That was, that was me. So not all visual artists loved art when they were a child. The second misconception I find uh, when people have about artists, and this is true for me, is that uh, we all love drawing or sketching. So we sketch, we can sketch well, or to paint well, we uh, enjoy sketching in our free time. And that's also not true about me. I tried sketching, I've done sketching tutorials, and I must admit, truly, truly, I do learn a lot from sketching from actually observing a flower, getting a pencil, and you know, drawing out the curves and the folds and seeing how it works through a pencil kind of sketching. However, I don't superly enjoy it and I really just love to dive into my pain straight away. And that's me as a grown up, that's me as an adult, 40 plus year old artist where I feel like I just wanna do what I love doing. And if I can get the results that I feel look beautiful without sketching, so be it. Okay, the third misconception about artists, and it's related to the times when I grew up in Singapore, an Asian culture of, you know, studious, studying, being academically inclined. And the misconception is that artists are not academically inclined. Well, artists are stupid or you know, we can't study, we don't study well, we don't pass exams, we're bad at math, we're bad at language, we are just in this visual world of art and uh, we're just not as good at, at school. So I find that a very, very big misconception because I actually did pretty well at school and I am a super fast learner. I am quite math focused, like I don't love math, but I can do math, I get numbers and I'm pretty good at memorizing stuff. So that is really one bit misconception. I hope people will just let go off. Just because you love art doesn't mean you are dumb, all right? Misconception number four. All right, this one is, eh, it's not truly a misconception because I do feel this sometimes, but that artists are tortured souls, that we are you know, slightly emotionally damaged and depressed and we need to uh, dwell in our art to express our darkness inside, like think Van Gogh and all the, you know, the artists of the past that, that lived this long, torturous life and no one recognized them. So the misconception that artists are tortured souls, I feel um, is not really applicable today at all. I know lots of artists are pretty stable and cool people who are not necessarily emotionally damaged or traumatized. So that is misconception number four. Misconception number five about artists is that we're all messy and chaotic and disorganized. So uh, this is very, very uh, varied, okay? Yes, 
you have the disorganized crazy artist and I can get into my phase of being super crazy uh, and, and disorganized and I don't bother you know cleaning my house for days or I just let the laundry slide and I just want to do art and I think that comes with the whole obsession that we have when we are into the art when we're into the painting we just want to do art and then we not really care about how our hair looks or what we wear and we become like this crazy looking person so yes there is a bit of that on some days but most days I'm pretty organized I keep to my schedules I get the kids dressed and ready for school most days I do bedtimes and uh, I have a fridge full of food for them so I think I'm pretty organized so that is definitely a misconception that all artists are chaotic crazy disorganized people the next misconception is that oh, this is a very very typical one that I think a lot of artists want to you know debunk but that uh, that you have to be starving to be an artist and that all artists are starving we can't make money from our art and that is simply not true today look around you we need artists for everything for website design for book covers for posters for uh, printing on your stationery and textiles artists do make a living, artists are not starving. Sure, maybe there will be a few artists that will become billionaires and millionaires. And then the most of us will just become like just regular wage earning people, freelancing, uh, working in animation, working in advertising, working in marketing, graphic design. Artists are not gonna be starving. We need artists for today. And especially the visual world that we live in, we, we, we don't starve, we're not starving. You can make it as an artist. The next misconception about artists is that we play all day and we don't work. Everything is play, play, play. Painting is playing, art is playing. We're having so much fun. And that's really not true because there are commissions that you have to paint. Sometimes you don't paint exactly what you want to paint. Someone's given you a brief and this is what you want to do. You might not be in the zone to paint that, but you have to paint those things. So that is work. It's still work. And there's like the invoicing and the business side and the website and the emails and um, just a whole lot of other work related stuff that you have to do. There's the, the financial management, there are all the things you have to organize in your day. So no, artists do not just play all day, we have to work. Okay, the next misconception. Hmm, this was definitely quite true for me, as in like, all right, so anyway, the next misconception is that artists are emotional, that they're flaky and they're difficult to work with. Uh, <laughs> so I was in the advertising industry way, way, way back. And I wasn't in the creative department, I was a suit. So I was, you know, um, uh, account executive and I'm in between the clients and the creative people, like the designers and the artists and the copywriters. And so I would have to work with creative people all the time to get the job done. And in my experience, yeah, they can be a little bit emotional and a little bit flaky and just a little bit uh, difficult to work with. That is true, that is true. However, that was in my specific agency culture. And now that I'm an artist, I can understand that when someone comes to you and say, I want an idea for this right now, I want you to be creative right now. It is really, really hard to work towards a deadline, to crunch it up, to be creative on the fly, right? That, that's hard. That's really hard. So I understand that misconception can actually be true. However, that said, I think the world is changing. It's um, a culture now of maybe um, kindness and workplace workplace equality and you know accounts people might not be bullied as much anymore okay i'm getting quite deep into this whole advertising um, industry but what i'm saying is that it is a misconception that all artists are emotional difficult to work with flaky there are gonna be some of them but i would say not everyone because i'm not like that i run my own business now i can't be uh difficult to work with i and, um, you know, I'll do what needs to be done. And that 
probably is true for a lot of freelance artists that work for, that paint for living, that create art for living. The next misconception, and I think this is number nine, is how a lot of artists are clueless about business, clueless about marketing. And I don't know about others, but for me, I came from background of marketing. I come from a background of understanding business. And uh, so that's not true about me. I am also an artist. So there is both sides of me that can do both and maybe that's uniquely me. But from what I see, a lot of artists out there who are their own company, they don't hire freelancers to do all the other jobs for them. They're also and running their own business. So that's a huge misconception. And these days you can learn anything anyway online. Um, just go to YouTube and blah, 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 how to do marketing, how to build a website, how to do business. And you get all the resources um, readily, quite free almost. So that is definitely a misconception in today's world. And finally, the last, I think, misconception about artists is that we paint or we create art for the end result, right? For the product, for this painting, for this um, thing that we are creating. And yes, although the end product, like a beautiful painting, is very, very rewarding when you look at it, we actually do it for the process, I am telling you. Like just dipping my brush in, in water, getting a color that inspires me on that day, and just see it spread across a piece of paper, and then mixing it up with another color, all that, trance-like flow and meditative healing sort of um, uh, process is, is really why I do art and why I paint and I'm sure lots of artists agree with me. We do it as much for the process. We enjoy the process each step of the way, the learning of balance, the learning of composition, of creating and orchestrating a piece of art. And sometimes in my painting, when I'm headed towards the end of it, I know it's the end of it, I get actually a bit sad. I was like, that was quick. It's over already. So, and that's the clue for me to know that I'm just doing it really for the joy of the process. And if it turns out to be a beautiful painting that other people appreciate, even better. So there you go, my 10 misconceptions about artists that I find happens today. And mostly the 10 misconceptions that I think people have, the 10 misconceptions that I used to have that it, they're all not true about me as an artist. Whether you agree or not, let me know. You can sound out in the comments below which you feel is the most sort of like, yeah, that's so true. And please subscribe to this video. I mean, to my channel, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate a subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.